We're all really excited about the Cardano Summit, but before it could even kick off, there were two huge announcements, Emergo's USDA and IOG's Midnight. Let's take a look at both together. Welcome back to Woodland Pools. Today it's time for the weekly report. So a lot of us are here in Switzerland getting ready for the Cardano Summit, but the days before the Cardano Summit was IOHK's Scottfest. And during that time, they did a lot of updates on several different initiatives that IOG is working on, but there were two huge announcements that came out of those past couple of days. And the first, while it didn't happen at the actual Scott Fest, was a press release by Emergo. This was a huge announcement that caught everybody off guard, that Emergo is going to launch the first USD-backed stablecoin for Cardano, and it's going to be called USDA. So Emergo, the official commercial arm and a founding entity of the Cardano blockchain, has announced on November 18th that they are planning to launch the new US dollar based stablecoin USDA. It's going to be the first fully fiat backed and regulatory compliant stablecoin in the Cardano ecosystem. So the way this is going to work is that this new stablecoin offers locking in the value of investors crypto assets by pegging one to one to the US dollar. This reduces volatility and unlocks fast global transactions without legacy banking and payment infrastructure delays. This last part here is kind of what you expect from a stablecoin, right? The whole idea that you can do a permissionless value transfer across the world without having to wait several days for different banking institutions to connect. But there are a few different ways on how you can approach setting up a stablecoin but probably the easiest one to wrap your head around is one like this, where it's pegged one-to-one -to, -one to the US dollar. So the idea here being that for every single USDA that is minted by Emergo, there is actually a dollar behind it in the bank. USDA is a native asset freely exchangeable on Cardano and backed by US currency. This stablecoin not only offers stability to investors conducting financial transactions on the blockchain, but it also advances a path forward for the whole Cardano ecosystem to address a problem that Cardano is uniquely positioned to solve, banking the underbanked. So a lot of people are wondering how this is gonna to come together. Emergo has partnered with a regulatory financial services company based in the United States to custody the cash deposits, assuring that the stablecoin is fully compliant and adheres to regulatory guidelines. And there's a big one because with everything we've been hearing about FTX and how a lot of the money people thought was there wasn't actually there, it's gonna be really important to know there's actually some regulation that's assuring that the stablecoin is fully compliant and that it is actually pegged and backed the way that we think it is. Backed by real world assets, USDA provides strong long-term price stability that may eventually lead to unlocking more reliable financial services to the Cardano ecosystem. So this is just an initial press release. There's a few questions that have yet to be answered. The first one is, when do they think they're going to launch this? The second one is, they say here that they're partnered with a regulatory financial services company, but they haven't announced what that company is. So we're waiting to see who this company is and exactly how they're going to be working together. So some details that still need to get worked out, but either way, very, very exciting to hear that we're going to have a USD-backed stablecoin that is going to be pegged one-to-one, -one, and Cardano users are now going to finally have the option of not just one, but multiple stable coins, and they can choose their preferred one. Now, obviously, this is a very different approach from the route that Cody is going with their algorithmic stablecoin, Jed. If you want to learn more about that, check out our video on that one. But it's going to be really cool to see which of these launches first and can claim the flag of first stablecoin to launch on Cardano. And then, by far the most exciting announcement to happen at Scott Fest was when Charles busted out the old whiteboard and announced a project they've been working on for four years, Midnight. Midnight, which was a big surprise to everybody, is going to be a data protection-based blockchain, an entirely different blockchain other than Cardano that's going to run as a side chain to Cardano. And to clear up some of the confusion we've been hearing, Midnight is not a privacy token like Monero. It's an entire blockchain that could run smart contracts. Midnight is a data protection based sidechain that safeguards sensitive commercial and personal data. The mission is to create a principled system to give people fundamental freedoms of association, commerce, and expression. This is the ACE principle that we'll talk about a little bit more in a minute. This will be a new paradigm for developers, companies, and individuals to operate and connect via a rule based confidential application. And here's the most important part. Users will have the autonomy to control over how their data is used and the visibility of their transactions. So at a very high level, the cool thing about Midnight is that it is a privacy chain where you can send transactions and smart contracts back and forth, but at any time, you have the ability to opt in to make disclosures and share information with parties that you trust 
or if not, using zero knowledge proofs, you can make assertions about things about your identity without having to reveal who you are. And in order to do all of this, Midnight empowers developers to quickly build and deploy confidentially focused dApps using many programming languages, and immediately what's going to be available is TypeScript. And so Charles gave this high level overview of what Midnight was going to be on day one. And he basically talked about the whole idea of it being a privacy-based sidechain that is not going to be run by IOG, but it's actually going to be run by stake pool operators. It's kind of hard to see here, but the way that it's going to work is that stake pool operators on the Cardano blockchain will facilitate midnight transactions. And when those transactions are facilitated, the same way how for facilitating Cardano transactions, stake pools get ADA as a reward, the stake pools that run the midnight sidechain are going to get a new token called DUST as a reward. So delegators to these stake pools if their chosen stake pool is running the Midnight sidechain and helping with that protocol, they will get rewards in both ADA and in Dust. So even at a high level, this is a really big announcement for Cardano and lines up perfectly with a lot of the conversations that we've been hearing about Atala Prism and owning your own identity. And then on day two, we got a lot more detail about how it's going to actually work. So they mentioned again that it's focused on developers being able to quickly and easily bootstrap dApps. The important thing is that it gives users autonomy and control over their own data. It's going to use what's called zero knowledge cryptography, where you can make assertions about a thing without revealing the details of it. And the idea is to extend Cardano's trustless ecosystem to safeguard the sensitive and personal commercial data. And to do all of this, the primary principle that's driving Midnight is the ACE principle, the freedom of association, freedom of commerce, and freedom of expression. So freedom of association lets you associate or interact with different organizations that have certain requirements. So for example, something that requires you to be a certain age or requires you to live in a certain area. But then what you can do is you can verify and prove with these zero knowledge proofs that you live in this area or that you are this age and you meet that criteria without having to actually disclose who you are and disclose your personal information. So it's the best of both worlds because the organization can be sure that you actually meet this criteria and then you can share with them only just that information and don't have to share anything else about yourself. Freedom of commerce lets you exchange value in a confidential way that's regulatory friendly. And what this means is that depending on the platform that you're using, you can either exchange value in a confidential manner and have it remain confidential all the time, or if that dApp is part of a jurisdiction that requires it to have certain information and it can be subpoenaed to share certain information as part of their terms of service, you can agree to give them viewing keys that if in that situation they have to reveal certain things about the information that they can. But again, this is opt in for you to choose to be part of the ecosystem of that dApp. And finally, the freedom of expression lets you candidly and openly share content without having to worry about retribution. A perfect example of this is like a whistleblower could share some content through their lawyer and send the information using Midnight and they wouldn't have to reveal who they are, but they can send that information along and you can verify certain things about that person without revealing their identity. Similarly, journalists that live in an area that doesn't have freedom of the press could publish content and not have to worry about retribution. And the other cool thing about these kinds of cases for whistleblowers and journalists journalists is that since it's on a blockchain, the immutability of the blockchain preserves that information. So once they've published it, you can't have some government entity or some large corporation come and then change the message afterwards. What was published will always be there and can't be modified. And the really big thing that sets Midnight apart from something like Monero is that instead of just being able to send value back and forth privately, you have composable privacy. So an entire smart contract can be private and you don't have to share the inner workings of how the contract works. An absolutely groundbreaking announcement. I cannot wait to hear more and see what the roadmap is going to look like. If you wanna stay on top of the details of Project Midnight and hear all the latest information, come to midnight.iohk.io and sign up for the mailing list and you'll hear about it in real time, just like us. Let us know what you're most excited about. We can't wait to cover the Cardano Summit and give you more information about what's going on here in Switzerland. And if nothing else, we'll see you next week.